up peeps and welcome back to the Lionel B show if it's your first time tuning into the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos man also make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video y'all be the first ones to get it now LeBron James man aka King James man has had so many different things come out about him in the media man a lot of things get swept under the rug he never really addresses any of the allegations but one thing that still remains man did Brinson trap LeBron James now Brinson first caught LeBron James's eye man at a football game during his senior year you know what I'm saying they basically linked up he tried to holler at her he tried to you know invite her to one of his basketball games and she wasn't with it she was like nah but I'll take your number type of thing because initially, y'all got to remember this now. When she first met LeBron James, she didn't really realize he was that big of a deal. She just thought he was just some regular dude. You know, she she wasn't really into sports or any of that. So eventually, one day when she was bored, she had nothing else in the world to do. She ended up remembering like, oh, yeah, this dude gave me this phone number. Let me call him. Let me see what's up and, you know, see where it can lead to, see where it can go. If it don't go anywhere, then, you know, it is what it is. So she ended up calling him. The conversation was very dry. So eventually she was like, okay, well, he's not really, you know, that interesting person. So let me go ahead and try to go attend one of his basketball games. So it was then at that point that she realized dude was super popular. He had the crowd going crazy. You know, he saw that the dude was actually a really major star at that point. So once she went to the game with him, then they went to do a group date with some other friends. And, you know, he was still kind of still kind of boring like you know you ain't really talk much and all of that so then they had a couple of one-on-one -on -one dates um they went to outback steakhouse and they also went to applebee's and after a while at that point she could have wrote him off but she kind of saw some potential in him now during that same year in high school she ended up getting actually pregnant which is lebron james jr she actually got pregnant with him and she was very afraid she didn't know what she was going to actually tell her parents but during that time, man, LeBron James kept it really calm. He was like, look, I'm going to hold it down. I'm getting ready to go to the league. Everything's going to be okay. Now, everybody within their hometown, man, in Akron, they was going around saying, yo, this little thought done wrecked his career. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he going to do with himself now? And there were so many people that it was the backlash was crazy. You know, the things she had to go through in terms of just trying to maintain the situation you know and they marriage wasn't even on the table it was more like you know what i'm saying how could you allow yourself to get pregnant however i mean it takes two to tango they both could have been a little bit more careful about it but you know you gotta think about it this was a major you know high school phenom like he was really good at basketball so a lot of people were like mad like dang you you know you just ruined this young man's career you know what i'm saying that wasn't the case now she did go and tell the magazine she had a group of friends around her so it she didn't let any of the things that people said get to her and if she did she would actually go home running and crying every single day now also man um the nba has even been confirmed and been on record man that they actually teach their rookies to retrieve their used condoms so women are unable to impregnate themselves with leftover fluid so baby entrapment it was definitely not something that they want this to happen to some of their star players now also man she goes on record to saying that she doubted his success she was like i just thought he'd be a hometown hero for his error and it would be over she just thought he was a normal high school senior and i mean how's he a normal high school senior he's got nba skills like that's that's crazy i mean that's a good pr thing pr way to talk about it like oh yeah i didn't think he was gonna be all that great and you know, but you seen, you know, but she seen like him playing basketball. You saw how good he was. You saw, you know, he had already had little endorsements going on while in high school. So how can you just look at him and be like, oh, well, I didn't think he was going to be that great of a player. Come on now. The dude was killing stuff. And he went straight to the NBA out of high school. So, I mean, you got to be damn good to play in high school and go straight to the NBA. Just, you know, what I'm saying skip over college completely at the point where she really fully realized lebron james greatness man is when he was actually selected as the first pick in the 2003 nba draft or possibly when he won his first championship in 2012 with the miami heat now i'm trying to still trying to figure out at what point did she think he was not going to be great now they did actually end up having two kids later on after that man she had a LeBron James Jr. And also had a son, Bryce, that came right after LeBron James Jr. 
Now still by 2010, Brinson basically went on record said she never put a fire up under his ass in terms of getting married. And she was stating at that time, and we're just really comfortable with the way things are now. And it's not up to me. When it happens, it happens. Now, LeBron James, man, he actually didn't want to really make that commitment until around January 2012. Now, at that point, man, he did propose. He had Dwayne Wade, you know, um, at a party. They was all at a party. And he had Dwayne Wade holding on to the actual engagement ring. And, you know, at the time, he was just kind of, you know, waiting on that right moment at that party to go ahead and propose to her. Right when he felt like it was right, he asked Dwayne Wade for the ring. And Dwayne looked at him and he said, bro, are you are you fully ready? You ready to do this? And he was like, man, if I don't do it right now, I'll never do it. So he went ahead and proposed to her. And later on, they actually got married September 2013. But I guess for whatever reason, he drug his feet, man. He just felt like, OK, they had a, a pretty decent situation. So it's all good. And there's no re there's no need to rush anything. I mean, she's already got him locked down. So even if they didn't get married i mean she would still be making a killing and child support so at that point it was just like uh you know not really a priority to go ahead and get married now she has been you know actually putting lebron james needs before her very own i definitely understand that you know he is the provider he's the king of the household but you know there's been rumors out there that she does a lot above and beyond to where she doesn't even you know have her own happiness it's all about him his success and you know making making sure that he feels great now, also, man, y'all know he was uh, exposed for cheating back in 2015, man. He was linked to uh, several Instagram models, man, where he would actually slide in the DM and try to holler at these women. And, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them was exposing him. There wasn't really much interaction after that. You know, there was just information coming out that he was actually coming in and trying to holler at, you know what I'm saying, his women. Now, this one 18-year-old, she actually put him on blast, man. She sent the screenshot to a whole bunch of media people and she was only 18 at the time he was 30 and you know what i'm saying he tried to slide in her dm and he was like yo you know what's up you know and he got exposed for that his wife was definitely upset about the whole entire situation then he actually hit up another woman named heidi hoback she's another instagram model and also she's a hunter she exposed lebron as well for sliding to her dms now the direct message he sent to her it said teach me how to hunt and i'll teach you how to play ball deal lol yikes so you know what i'm saying his dm approach man he tries to do it a little bit more subtly because he know everything he does is actually under the microscope so therefore he's not going to say like any really extra crazy you know what i'm saying stuff that would implicate him so that way you know when it does get leaked out or if his wife does have any issues which she's not going to have any issues because the dude's making way too much money she ain't gonna you know she ain't gonna trip i mean she's not gonna go nowhere definitely so yeah she's definitely not gonna go anywhere y'all i think she definitely trapped the nba baller lebron james man and i mean you know they've been rocking together since they were 16 years old you know what i'm saying i think they do definitely have a beautiful marriage and i think she was definitely really great and i think she knew his potential she knew exactly where he was gonna go in life because i mean he was so great from the beginning like you know what i'm saying from his high school days he was just super dope at basketball so she definitely knew what she was saying man so all the interviews she's saying well i didn't expect him to do this and i didn't expect him to do that she knew what she was doing and also man he just recently copped her a brand new a very expensive ferrari that she can't even drive right now because she doesn't know how to drive manual cars but she is looking forward to driving and sliding in her brand new ferrari so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man the entrapment man let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario do y'all think she knew what she was doing or do y'all feel like she was honestly innocent and was just like huh oh, i just think he's just a cool person or whatever because initially remind you know mind you she didn't even like dude she didn't like dude until she went to his first basketball game and at that point she was just like damn okay i i think i kind of like him now so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the video share the video y'all drop a reaction video to this video any of y'all youtubers out there man y'all go ahead and do a reaction to this and let me know and tag me in it and i'll peep y'all on the next one. holla